Rendering in Blender can be confusing for beginners when they want to get sharp details, like if you spend a lot of time doing a model or a scene, at the end, you want to show all the details you put, which is why most beginners focus on spiking up the render samples, an important factor for clear image, but it doesn't work the way you think. See with this scene, on cycles and with GPU device render, if I want to know how much samples I need to get the back wall details, I would put them first at 200 samples, then select a specific region with control B to render it alone. This look horrible. It took over three seconds, and if you're a beginner, you would probably increase the samples more in hope for better quality, so let's do that and see what happened. A thousand render samples? Or three thousand? This is crazy number which should make it crystal clear, right? No. Took fourteen seconds to finish a small region, and the result is blurry as hell. Even if you give it 10k samples, you will not get sharp details and that's because there's not much to sample from, and I mean the image resolution. The resolution by default is 1920 by 1080, so for a back area, Blender can't sample much details. Thus, if I drop the samples to only 64, and then put the resolution on 4K, or even make it double or triple from the blue percentage under the resolution X and Y, and FYI the double goes for both axis, so it's four times bigger. With this resolution, if we render again, the time is the same 14 seconds, but the output quality is way better, Blender now has more room to sample from, and GPU render is faster on big-scale images, so it's a win-win. For interior scene or exterior one, 64 to 200 or 400 at max is the only samples you would need, depending on the noise level in your scene. And that's it. Like and sub if you still hear and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.